Alright guys, welcome to Light Up The World and welcome to part 2 of my DIY flashlight build guide. In this video, we're actually going to build the light. I'm going to guide you, th guide you through it. Really in-depth tutorial. So, let's get to it. First things first, the materials and tools you're going to need. Here's the list. Now, you may be wondering, where am I supposed to get all these materials and tools? Well, let me tell you. The best place to purchase all these things is from Melton Electronics. Link is going to be in the description and probably up on the screen. They have the greatest selection, greatest price, best place to buy it. They actually provided the parts for this build, so thanks a lot to them. Make sure to go check out their website. Best place to buy all the components that are used in this build. Uh, for the tools, the only thing you really need from anywhere other than the electronics of soldering iron and you can buy that even at Walmart, Canadian Tire, wherever you are so let's get going alright so let's get to the build so the first thing we're going to do is get the parts prepped so we'll take the enclosure you want to unscrew the front take the back half and put it away, you don't need it right now and then this little silver diffuser on the front unscrew that the lens and reflector assembly will also fall out. We'll put that all to the side. This is what we're going to be working on right at the beginning. Alright, so now that this is prepped, put this over to the side for a second. You want to take the driver board, this little nub that's on the end, grab some side cutters and just snip it right off. Just like that. Now this is prepped, so you want to take your precision tweezers and if there's a ring in there, take that ring out, if not, you want to go to your little baggie that came with the uh, host, once you have the contents, be careful, there are small screws in here, and we do need those, so we'll put the lantern to the side, here's the ring, we need this. Everything else we don't need yet. While you're at it, if you're taking that out, take these two little screws out too. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the camera, but two very small screws. Now this ring is ready, the driver is ready. Now we're going to get the LED board ready. So you want to just take it out of the package. What we're going to do is we're going to tin each of the leads on the board. So we're gonna get them with a little bit of solder on them. It's a little more zoomed in now. You have a small bit of solder. So your soldering iron is ready. Just like that. There are many tutorials online on how to solder, so I'm not going to go over that. But if there is a lot of requests, then I will. So we have the tire assembly ready. So now what we're going to do is get the thermal paste. Take a small amount of thermal paste, just a very, very small dab, and place it in the center. If this is too deep for your thermal paste like mine is, you can put it on the back of here. Just a very small amount. It will flatten itself out and spread it all out so that's more than enough. Now take your precision tweezers, grab each end. You want to line it up. As you can see there are four notches in the board itself and there are four holes inside of there. So you want to line up the holes with the notches so then you have a place to screw the board in and for the wires to come out of. Just like that. Now you want to take your two little screws and your small screwdriver and use those two 
horse. And screw the two screws into the small holes. Make sure to start one and then start the other so you get even pressure. Don't tighten it too much, just enough. Now the driver is in place. The next thing you want to do is flip this over. And we're going to place the driver board into its little retaining ring and pushing each of these wires through the holes. Make sure you line the holes up properly. Red is positive, black is negative, and the positive and negative are marked on each pad. Need to, if you can't get your fingers in there, then you can use your tweezers to help you out. Now, once you have your wires lined up, flip it over and pull them through. The driver board should just line itself up. Now, center the board in the gold ring. You hold it down with your finger, grab your ring, make sure that your threads are facing the right way. It should have two holes on the top. Just drop that in. Use your tweezers, one under the tweezer in each hole. Start it up a little bit and uh, yeah, so you can reposition your board. This can be possibly the hardest part of the entire build. Sometimes the dryer board just doesn't want to get positioned properly, so just keep trying at it. One tip is to use your finger to hold it in place and use the tweezers around, the, on, around your finger. And once you have it in, flip it over and what you want to do is push wires back in I'm trying to get a good light on there so you want to take the red wire and black wire and push it in and then realign it so that the tip is on the connection so push it in so it's the extra is down into the little compartment between the driver board between the driver board and the actual thing itself actual LED itself and you want to bend it over and then just put a little bit of heat on it using the soldering iron and it should be able to solder right back into place. So as you can see so as you can see that is the first connection on. Now we're gonna get the black one on. They're in the best connection, but they're on. Now what you want to do is go back into your little bag. Go back into the bag that it came with. 
and there should be a little white ring. So we'll grab this ring and you want to place it on the LED with the flat side down. It's not going to fit perfectly around the LED, but it's good enough. You want to take the reflector, place it on like that, take the lens, and the bezel. Now we have the entire, this is basically the build finish. Now we'll take the battery tube. Screw it on, unscrew the end, put a battery in, put it in the right way, turn it down, and there we go. Quite a lot of power coming out of there, man that is bright. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, hope you guys liked it, I know this video is long overdue, part 1 came out almost a week ago from this video, and uh, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, make sure to leave a comment on the next build you want to see, I'm thinking of doing something pretty extravagant, way more powerful than this guy, so, see you in the next one.